Hey there guys, Shua here with another drawing tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at drawing the four basic objects quickly. So, our four basic objects are a sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. Alright, I'm going to be using a Prismacolor ebony pencil to do this and uh, let's jump right in. Okay, let me start by saying if you haven't already watched my video Freehand Lines and Circles, that might be a good place to start. Um, I'm going to start with a sphere uh, and the way I'll do that is with a quick circle, uh, freehand. And then I need some lines to kind of demonstrate that this has a three-dimensional shape because right now it looks very two-dimensional. We're on a two-dimensional surface. The way I'm going to do that is draw a horizontal ellipse and a vertical style ellipse. And I'm a lefty so if I kind of block this drawing as I do it, I apologize. Okay, so that was kind of rough but you get the idea there. Um, these lines actually serve to give the eye some information. Uh, if I were to cut this sphere in half, this is what it would look like. It starts to look like half of a ball. Um, okay, the second one that I'd like to talk about is a cylinder. And uh, there are a couple ways to go about it. You could start with your verticals first. Um, this is really hard because I'm normally rotating my page uh, to get a good angle. So this is a good challenge. But I may draw a vertical here and a vertical there. Whoop and then draw my ellipses to connect those lines. So, hopefully you can do that pretty quickly. I always um, stress using a light line weight so that, like for instance here where I missed pretty drastically, I missed by about a quarter to a half of an inch, I can always come back kind of using a line that I've already made to guide me and then get it right. And once I have it right, I can darken it in. So there's a sphere, there's a cylinder, now we'll do a cone, and a cone I typically start with the ellipse first, and draw that again very quickly. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll come above it and I'll kind of pick a point that I want to hit that I, that I know is in the middle, and then I will kind of shoot my line towards that point from this edge. I'll do that first. Again, normally I'm able to rotate my page. I think it's going to be a little bit more natural for my body motion to come down to that corner than to try and push the line up. So, um, come down. And that looks pretty good. Okay, and then the last one would be a cube. The very important thing with a cube is that your lines are parallel. And I'm going to see if I can kind of move this to get it in the camera there. But, you want to make sure that your lines are parallel. Okay, you're going to have three pairs of lines, so you'll have six lines total, and I'm just going to start, I'm sorry, you're going to have a set of three lines three times, so you're going to have nine lines total. So I'm just going to start one, two, and three, and I kind of already know how to offset those just because I've done this a lot before, um, but you can practice with that. So those are three parallel lines, and then I'm going to do three more parallel lines. These are going to be verticals. So one, two, and I need one over here. And then I need three more vertical lines, I mean three more parallel lines, sorry, and you're going to go from here to here and to here. Okay, and I can tell right now that this one is going, it's not quite parallel. Had I started right there, it probably would have a little bit better feel to it, so I'll try and do that. Okay, once you get the hang of doing this quickly, um, it, it becomes a lot easier to draw other things because these are the building blocks for so many other drawings and objects that you're going to want to draw. So hopefully that helps. If you'd like to, to have a little bit more information, just please leave a comment in the section below and I can go a little bit more into depth uh, with this. But thanks for watching. Again, this is Shua. Uh, appreciate you watching. Bye.